Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and in today's video, I'm talking about on one sidecar files, what they are, and why you might care about them. So to understand a sidecar file, which you may have seen poking around on your computer, these dot on one files sitting next to your photos, we have to understand that Photo Raw is a non-destructive editor, and how does it keep track of all the changes that we make? So if we add ratings or keywords or uh, editing adjustments to our photos, on one stores that in its own database, internal to the application. We don't have to worry about it. Just know all these things are recorded. Now you have the option of tracking those things in what's called a sidecar file. And I'll get into the reasons you might want to do that. But first, let's understand how to turn those things on. In the Files tab in Preferences, you have this option for Save on One Sidecar Files for non-destructive edits and metadata. So turning this on, you will then get changes saved in this thing called a sidecar file. Uh, what does a sidecar file look like? Well, when you're looking at the Finder or Explorer level, you'll see this additional file in your, uh, in your folder here. Let's take a look at here. I've got my desktop open. I just have a single image, right? I don't see any other sidecar files. I just see the photo that I'm working on. Now, if I go and look in the Finder, I mean, you right click on the, the file, say Show in Finder or Show in Explorer for Windows, you'll see something different. Here's my desktop. Here's the photo that I saw in Photo Raw. It looks different because the editings I did are only understood by Photo Raw. But I also have this big you know, .on1 file as well as an XMP file. These are both sidecar files. So this .on1 sidecar file, that's what's also keeping track of non-destructive edits and any ratings, keywords, metadata changes that I've made. And so if you see these things sitting around next to your photos, you have this option turned on in the preferences. Now, what about this XMP file? That's another type of sidecar file that carries metadata only. There's not uh, any of the non-destructive edits in there. And that can be handy if you're working with multiple programs uh, for editing your photos or managing photos that understand this XMP format. For example, going between Lightroom and On1, both understand this format both can read that type of data, and that's helpful for asset management. So why would you want to turn on these sidecar files? Uh, there's two reasons that come to mind for me. Uh, first is backup. So I mentioned Photo Raw already has a database internal that tracks all of this information. And so long as you're backing up your computer, well, you're backing up that information as well. But like any file on any computer system anywhere, some things can go wrong or, you know, you have a, a hard disk failure, whatever it might be. Well, if you have a secondary copy of the changes for that individual photo, well, then you've got some level of backup for your changes, your edits, and all the hard work you've put into your imagery. Uh, the second reason is for mobility. Now, uh, this internal database that keeps track of everything, I don't, I don't know where it is. It's buried somewhere you know, deep in the application or deep within my you know, the system library, somewhere that's not something I'm going to be looking around and finding in the Finder or the Explorer. But the sidecar files sit right next to my photos, and I know exactly where my photos are on my computer. And if I back those up or I take them and put them all onto an external hard disk, take that hard disk, you know, walk across to another machine, plug that hard disk in. If I had the sidecar files there, I open those folders and those photos up in Photo Raw. I'll see all of my metadata, all of my edits, everything is there because Photo Raw will find the sidecar files and say, oh, I've got some changes here. Let me make sure I show those to you. That also opens up some interesting things with putting photos with sidecar files in a cloud service. You can access them from anywhere and be able to do edits and changes. And then you go to a different machine and you're able to see all of those changes you made. So that's what sidecar files are. If you see them at the Finder Explorer level, uh, don't arbitrarily delete them, especially if you've turned on that feature. They don't take up much space. They're very small, a kilobyte or two. And if I can come up with maybe there's only like only one negative to having them, uh, besides seeing them in the Finder or the Explorer, some people don't like that, uh, there might be a performance-related issue. And I say might because each time you make a change to a photo in Photo Raw, 
those changes are saved. That's the, the, the beauty of non-destructive editing. Well, that means if I have the sidecar file, on one needs to save its information to its internal database. It also needs to save that information to a sidecar file. So let's say you know I have to do two write operations for every change versus one. In practice, I haven't noticed any slowdown with that. I've got pretty fast internal hard disk for sure, and my connected hard disks are on Thunderbolt. I've done this on USB 3. I haven't noticed an overhead, but it's something to be aware of. So if you turn this on and you suddenly notice, oh, things are really slowing down, maybe you've got a slower system, slower hard disk, and then the change may not be the choice for you right now. So I hope that demystifies sidecar files for you. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.